Ladies and gentlemen, Lilith have officially lost their damn mind because more leaks are coming out for this upcoming update. And not only are we getting a legendary version of CPO, which we've already talked about in my previous video, but we're also going to get an advanced and an elite version. And today we're going to go over all the skills and everything we know. And then near the end of the video, I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on the new iconic equipment system coming soon, because this update came out while I was on vacation and I didn't get a chance to talk about it. So we're going to talk about it. What's going on guys. Cheers. I already finished my Starbucks. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard me right. There are not one not two but three new versions of cpo coming into rise of kingdoms you seriously can't make this stuff up i thought they were crazy by implementing a legendary version of cpo africanus but apparently we're getting a full suite a full army of cpos coming here to rise of kingdoms very very soon now i reached out to lilith on the vip chat and they still haven't gotten back to me about what's like what is their strategy here with re-implementing the same commander three more times into the game i have no answers i don't know what's going on but i know that this is real not only because of the source of the leaks but also because of the way in which these new cpo commanders are going to be implemented and i'm going to talk about that in just a minute but first let's just get right into the skills here for the green the advanced version of cpo i can't believe we're doing this again but uh the the advanced version of cpo is an archer peacekeeping and skill based commander uh skill one called air raid with a rage requirement of a thousand instantly deals a massive damage to the target with a damage factor of 100 wow boys you better watch out we got a 100 damage and that's the highest by the way that's the highest it can be uh, skill two poisonous arrow troops led by this commander deal 10 percent increased damage to barbarians I, I mean hey that's the peacekeeping skill that we got on here i don't know i mean this is again this is a green commander like you can't really expect much this is pretty much on par with the other green commanders we see in the game uh skill three arrow accuracy archer units led by this commander gain five percent increased attack it's it's a tiny amount of stats like that's literally nothing uh skill four dodge archer units led by this commander gain five percent increased defense like again this is a green commander I don't know when you would ever use this version of CPO um maybe like when you first start the game to kill barbs maybe I mean I, I just don't see it I don't get it I don't understand what's going on here um but if we take a look at the elite version of CPO we see he's cavalry so we we officially have one CPO commander for each uh type of commander I mean we have we have a leadership CPO who's epic um we have the the uh the infantry version which is going to be legendary right um and then we've got the archer for greens and then cavalry for blue i mean all we're missing now is an integration what are we going to get a gathering cpo at some point as well like I, I don't get it but anyway the blue version of cpo is cavalry versatility and mobility having cpo move fast around the battlefield is going to be interesting skill one active skill called skirmish rage requirement of a thousand instantly deals direct damage to the target with a damage factor of 600 it's tiny it's basic it's it's pretty much nothing again but it, it is what it is uh skill two furious knight cavalry units led by this commander gain five percent increased march speed and five percent increased attack um so that's i mean that's cool right we see the mobility tree so it makes sense that we would see a little bit of march speed on there attack again is kind of bad but it is what it is skill three hardened shield uh troops led by this commander gain a 10 percent chance to reduce all damage taken on the next turn by 40 percent when attacked um that's pretty cool right because it says when attacked uh and there's a 10 percent chance so if you get swarmed uh then there's a higher probability that this is going to pop off and when it does it's all damage taken by 40 percent so i guess that's kind of cool uh but there's really nothing on his talents that would make him tanky anyway so if he's gonna get swarmed i mean he's a blue commander like what, what are you gonna do with that right so that's kind of pointless uh and skill four is bloodlust of battle when less than 50 percent of units remain the troops led by this commander deal 15 percent increased damage and gain 15 percent increased march speed so that's cool right that's cool but again there's just no stats here there's five percent of stats horrible active skill there's no expert because it's a blue commander right same thing with the green like there's just nothing here so I, I don't know like what you're supposed to do with these commanders and why they're implementing them now out of all times I mean I, again I guess it's because they're implementing the, the legendary I don't know I really don't know but it's actually insane to think that we're gonna have four 
we have four CPOs in Rise of Kingdoms. Like, what the hell is that, dude? But anyway, the reason that I knew that these leaks were actually real, and the reason that I feel that this is, you know, this is legitimate and coming soon to Rise of Kingdoms for sure, is because of the way in which you're going to be able to unlock these commanders. Now, they are going to be in silver and gold keys, obviously, right? That's, I mean, green and blue commanders. That's basically how you're going to, how you're going to get them mainly. But because they're so new into the game, Lilith actually has a bundle for the brand new CPO. So yes, you're going to be able to purchase for $10. You're going to be able to, to instantly unlock both of these new CPOs. They're trash. I don't know why anybody would pay for this, uh, but leave it up to Lilith to implement constantly just new ways to get money out of the player base it's actually pathetic and the thing is like i feel like players who are new to the game are gonna fall for this like they're gonna they're gonna it's gonna pop up at some point as a brand new player and they're gonna think oh cpo's cool like you know he he, he has a legendary version there's an there's an epic version like why not just get all of them right so i don't know what else comes with this bundle if it just immediately unlocks them for ten dollars i hope that it gives you like gems and some sort of like food and wood and stone and gold something I, I really don't know uh but this is obviously a pop-up bundle that shows up at some point I don't know what's gonna trigger this bundle if it's gonna happen you know once the update goes live I don't really know okay but the fact that they're implementing this as a bundle is hilarious and again that's that's kind of how I knew it was real because I'm like okay this makes sense like the, the, of all things like this is obviously how Lilith would introduce something like this i mean every time there's a new update that comes out there's a new bundle in the game and a new way to spend money uh and so here we go it's another way that you can spend money on something that's complete garbage by the way i mean these commanders are they're, they're throwaway they're trash they're just gonna be more bs that you can get from the from the keys so i don't know dude some people are gonna fall for it lilith is gonna line their pockets for ten dollars you're gonna unlock this, this i just i don't get it man i don't get it why do we need four cpos why do we need four cpos <laughs> And the, the craziest part about all of this, right, is that you guys watching, there's probably a small percentage of you who actually probably believed that I was being truthful. Guys, it's April 1st, okay? I had to hit you with the April Fool's joke, but let's be real, okay? A new bundle for some BS, that's not that far off. That's really nice, it's like kind of realistic, okay? And I, I had to do it. Okay, I've never, I don't think I've ever done an April Fool's joke on this channel. So I had to hit you guys with it. The fact that they're implementing a legendary CPO is ridiculous. So I figured I would stretch it a little bit more. Uh, I didn't partner with Kingdom 93, by the way. I just kind of stole their little logo. So guys, I apologize for that. But I feel like that's kind of like the stamp of authenticity for these leaks. So uh, shout out to 93 and, and all the work that you guys do for leaks. But yeah i don't know i had to do it guys i'm sorry okay i'm sorry and again there's probably a small percentage of you guys who were probably just like uh, completely believing me because of you know this 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 shit right here every time again every time there's an update there's a new way to spend money on dumb shit okay lilith it's your fault for this one all right anyway happy april fool's day guys let's go ahead and talk about the new equipment changes coming to rise of kingdoms okay because uh, what is it every three months every four five six months we see a change to the equipment system like can you guys just leave it alone <laughs> just leave the equipment system alone okay just do something else seriously like it's, it's it's insane it's actually insane and i'm not being funny anymore like it's actually crazy like just fix the system if you think it's broken i don't know anyway uh since its introduction the equipment system has become an important and well received really really well received is that why you've changed it 15 times well received part of the game in this update we're adding a whole new element to the system which will change the strength of some equipment depending on which season you are in we hope you'll enjoy this new more fleshed out system new iconic equipment system for a period after this update goes live the iconic equipment system will become available for kingdoms entering lost kingdom season one or later governors can turn certain equipment into iconic equipment by using iconic crystals and gold iconic equipment provides buffs to troops base attributes determined by which season of lost kingdom the kingdom is currently in so this change is going to come with a new event called the new artisan forge event complete quest to game rewards including iconic crystals iconic crystals can also be purchased from the lost canyon shop rewards for the crystal quest event have also been changed some speedups have been replaced with iconic crystals now what we don't know about this change is 
how this is going to work and how big of a buff this is going to be and what these buffs are going to be depending on which season you're in because this system is going to roll out for the first season of kvk it says it right here so pretty much every kvk is going to be affected by this change in equipment and that's crazy what i don't think like for me right there there's already the talent system which players aren't happy with to be honest with you i still like ever since they introduced refining and even before that people aren't they don't really love the idea of somebody having way more stats than them just because they got a, a 20 that like, there was a 10 percent chance they got lucky or something like it, people aren't in love with that idea okay and the fact that we're finding uh, is actually a worse system for getting a talent than the previous system that we had and also since implementing the crystal uh, the crystal keys as rewards i feel like it's been harder and harder to get blueprints even for epic and purple materials uh purple blueprints for equipment so right now i, I don't think players really love uh the equipment system at least from from my perspective i don't think it's had very many great changes um since it was first introduced so well received is definitely uh sub just subjective right they think it's well received i think it's it's okay it could definitely be much better um what i'm thinking here is that it's going to give some sort of small stat buff from a pure statistic perspective that's what i'm assuming is going to be the case so right now if we take a look at the equipment uh in the game or let's just jump over to one of my commanders okay uh you can see my talented hope cloak here the hope cloak gives you stats and then because of the talent it gives you even more of those same stats i feel like the iconic system uh is not going to work like this but instead it's going to give you just let's say five percent uh defense right to all troops whatever the case might be if you've made your piece of equipment iconic right that's what i assume is going to be the case or maybe it's five percent attack defense health right or something along those lines uh, and maybe you know in season one of kvk it's one percent of all stats season two of kvk it's two percent of all stats and so on as the game progresses it gets more powerful again that's my assumption based on what it says here which is uh it will change the strength of some equipment depending on which season you are in so your iconic equipment will evolve uh, over time right and, and i assume it will get better over time that's my assumption um but we don't know really anything about this system is it going to apply to legendary equipment only is it going to be for all equipment right is is that going to be the case i'm not sure but what i do know is that lilith seems to not really know how to fix uh, or fix the equipment system my uh, uh, assumption from a game design perspective right is that the more systems you add the more you know f currencies that your game has and the more complicated you make it over time uh, the worse that it is from a player's perspective right because it gets more and more complicated and you have to learn more and more things and as a player who's been playing the game for years now it's easy for me to understand what talents are and what refining is and what you know the iconic system is and, and all that stuff right it makes sense for me uh, because I've learned these things over time but as a brand new player who just starts playing rise of kingdoms you know they're gonna see all this equipment and they're not gonna like at first they're just gonna start crafting stuff and then they're gonna learn that there's talents and then they're gonna learn that there's iconic uh, an iconic system and then they learn there's there's crystals to do the iconic system but the refinement system is just a, a luck based thing uh over time and you know it's the same thing with the museum like th there's just random buffs to already existing things which has its own currency right i mean we have two currencies we have relic coins and exhibit coins we have two currencies for this system like how many currencies are they going to add into the game before we realize like it's just too complicated like you're just straight up making it too complicated and, and maybe that's like i know you might be thinking like omni arc that's that's like kind of crazy like it's not that it's not that you know it's not that complicated but again you have to look at it from a perspective of a new player right not only do you have gems but you have crystals for kvk and then you have iconic crystals for equipment which is different from refining and all of this uses gold by the way um and even the new iconic system is going to use gold which we're already struggling to pay for our t5s that go to the hospital when we're in kvk and some pieces of equipment like the like you know the um the accessories here this costs a lot of gold to forge 50 million gold i mean like for for some play to win players that's not a lot but i mean that's kind of a lot especially considering it's per accessory and you're gonna you're gonna craft multiple accessories i mean like it's a lot of gold right it's kind of a lot of gold 
over time and now they're adding a new way to spend more gold so i really don't know uh, again we don't really know that much about this iconic system for equipment um i just don't get it like i don't understand the need i wish they would have some transparency as to what makes them think that the game needs this and what also makes them think that we want this um and also uh, i'd be willing to bet you there's going to be a bundle right and like let's be real it's going to be a, it's going to be a tiered bundle five dollar ten dollar twenty dollar whatever um and you're going to be able to just straight up buy the iconic crystals now let's be honest there are probably going to be ways where you can get this stuff for free right like they did with in pre kvk where they gave you a bunch of the relic coins and all that stuff like that was cool okay i understand that and, and good for them for doing that um but you know it's just like again i know there's going to be a bundle for this and maybe there's even going to be a seven day iconic crystal supply for five dollars right knowing lilith it's gonna be the case okay they're gonna add bundles for this um and and how this makes the game better i really don't know okay and that's the transparency that i would like to see from lilith why do we need another change to the equipment system uh because realistically every time they touch the system it's kind of gotten worse right okay I, I i honestly that's how i feel that's how i personally am at that's where i'm at in the game right now it's already hard enough to get blueprints you have to spend gems on like the egg event and vip shop and things like that and yes there's a way to get it for free and i understand that uh but the drop rate for some of the better stuff in the in the tavern is low right it's really low so i don't know um maybe this will be good for free to play players maybe it won't be honestly i don't know what to say other than lilith's track record is bad it's just objectively bad so i have to be pessimistic um i hope i again i hope i'm wrong I, you know i like the game i want this to be good um i just don't understand the need for this that's kind of i'm kind of just confused as to like where is this coming from why like what's what's the deal here um hopefully again hopefully it's good if this system is good and it's 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 free to play friendly and you're able to add more stats to your equipment that are you know your blue equipment and your purple equipment if you're able to make your purple equipment as good as legendary equipment over time for free to play then hey that's amazing right that's going to be awesome um and that's going to be really good for the game it would be uh, but we have to wait and see we have to see how this system is going to work um and and how hard it's going to be but i guarantee you there's going to be a bundle that comes with it uh and that is really sad because a uh, part of this video was an april fool's joke um for your boy cpo here uh and 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 you know the part of the part of the video that's not a joke is that they're going to be adding another bundle i'm sure of it uh and that's really sad so anyway guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it hopefully you're not too mad at me for the uh the april fool's joke at the beginning there if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below your thoughts on the upcoming changes the equipment system do you suspect it will be good or do you suspect it will be bad i would i would love to hear from you guys down there with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace